This is another video on ideal diode circuit analysis. And in this, uh, we have two diodes. And I have taken this question from uh, Jim Stiles' uh, website. Uh, he is from the University of Kansas. So thanks to Jim. In my last two videos also, I have just tried to give you some idea, like this circuit. This for sure, we know it is forward bias, positive connected to the positive, and negative connected to ground through this. So there's no doubt. But if you have questions like this, then definitely you have doubt. I have solved this question and also this one, but now I'll be solving this and next I'll uh, solve this, hopefully, inshallah. So again, uh, I'm just repeating, so you have your concept clear that for any circuit, either the diodes, we can assume them to be forward bias or reverse bias, and uh, there could be a mix match as well. Now, when a diode is reverse bias, two things very important you have to keep in mind. When it is reverse bias, we know that no current can flow, and therefore we'll call ID is equal to zero. And this we are saying in forced condition because we have opened it, and so no current should flow. What we need to find here is the VD, the voltage across the diode, this VD. And if it is short circuit, then there is no resistance and no voltage drop. Therefore, in this case, voltage drop will be zero. This is in forced condition, and we have to find current. So this is the whole crux of the techniques that we'll be using uh, to solve uh, ideal diode questions. And then if the circuit we have assumed to be forward bias, this diode current must be positive. And if we have assumed it to be a reverse bias, the diode voltage must be negative or less than zero. And once we have found a solution to be okay, then there is no need of going further. So for every circuit, one and only one assumption will be valid. And again, uh, the basic idea I've got from a website, very good. Uh, website very good slides okay so this is the circuit uh, two diodes and the question is are the diodes on or off now from here you, it's difficult to really say uh, which diode is on and which diode is off we will follow a procedure and the first of all we'll mark the current so this current I'm calling I1. This is already given, so this is ID1 in the question, this is ID2. And I have also marked the voltage polarities. So current touching will make it positive. So here also current touching makes upper portion positive. And then I'm calling this uh, point, this node as VA, and this one as VB. So with this knowledge, now let's, Proceed. Since there are two diodes, so there are four possibilities or four options. Both of the diodes could be uh, open, zero, zero, or one uh, open, other short, and like this. So there are four possibilities. And you can start with both short or both open. It is recommended that you start with both open. And we are calling this assumption one, two, three, and four. Okay, the first assumption, both open. So this is open, this is open. And as I mentioned, the very important point is that you have to now mark what to do. So we're saying here now that ID, because it is open, will be zero. We have to find VD1. And similarly here, ID2 will be zero and we have to find VD2. So this is the main point that we have to mark. 
and now since i is zero now this i is zero how because there is no path of the current from the battery to go back to the battery this is also open this is also open so no current will flow through here so there will be no voltage drop here therefore whatever is the voltage the same voltage will appear at va so we'll say va is 10 volt now vd1 this one we'll find now here it is 10 volt here it is zero so the vd1 is va minus zero so va minus zero which is 10 minus zero which is 10 volt uh, this 10 volt is positive but as we have mentioned earlier that for reverse bias the voltage has to be negative less than zero so this is a contradiction this assumption is creating a contradiction and therefore we just stop here we move to the next assumption it's so easy you just find one contradiction no further calculation go to the next assumption Okay, so this is done. Now we'll take 0 and 1. So assumption 2 will be D1 is off. So this remains off. And this will be on, like shown here. And let's solve it. We were here. A couple of things. Uh, uh, as I mentioned, here also we have to mark the current. ID1 is 0. We have to find VD1, and since this is short, so we have to, uh, the VD2 is zero, and we have to find ID2. By KCL at node A, so here we'll write the current equation, one current entering, the other current leaving, no current here. So I is ID2, and I is actually going from ground or zero to VA. So we write zero minus VA. Now I, I have in several videos explained how to write this. Uh, do we write it for minus uh, 10 volt or plus 10 volt? So the simple technique is if you look at the positive terminal of the battery and imagine that a current is going out from the positive. And if this current has same direction as the current that we are assuming, then we will write it as plus. So we're writing it plus 10 volt. Similarly, for ID2, now ID2 is flowing from VA to ground. So we write VA minus zero. And this battery is also adding the current in the same direction. Therefore, this will be plus. So this is VA. Uh, this voltage divided by the resistance 10k. Here it is the uh, voltage divided by the 5k resistance. And now we can simplify. We cut this to so one to ratio and then cross multiplication. And solving, we find VA to be minus 3, 3 volt. Okay, so VA found now VD1 is VA minus 0 and VA we have calculated minus 3.3 .3 minus 0 so VD1 is minus 3.33 volt now as we have mentioned that for reverse bias or for open circuit VD has to be less than 0 which is in this case it is less than 0 it is negative therefore this part or this assumption is valid so D1 off is a valid assumption. Now let's go to the other one. ID2 we have found from here, this one. And VA we have already calculated, so I'll plug in that value. And solving, we find the current to be 1.33 milliampere positive. And we know that for a forward bias, ID has to be greater than zero. That means ID has to be positive, which is in this case positive. Therefore, the second assumption is also valid. D2 is on. Therefore, both of these are the valid uh, assumptions. 
and so this assumption 2 is valid as we mentioned that for every circuit one and only one assumption will be valid and since this assumption is valid there is no point going for the other assumptions because this is enough so therefore assumption 2 is correct that is d1 is off or a reverse bias and d2 is on forward bias is the correct solution okay but you might ask what if i had selected one one first or one zero first then okay i'll just uh, uh, i had similar curiosity so i'll just solve it uh, for the peace of mind of yours okay so assumption same now we'll start with assumption four and assumption four is both on And here also, we have to find current and voltages as zero in both the cases. And now this is connected to ground. Therefore, this voltage VA is zero volt. Okay, and now the, we can write KCL, current entering is current leaving, current leaving. So I is ID1, ID2. And same technique i is be going from zero to zero and this battery is adding so zero my that's zero plus 10 divided by 10k id1 we don't know what is its value we can't say it's zero or what so we leave it as it is this one we know so we'll find id2 it is going from this zero to zero again and this battery is adding so plus 10 volt divided by this resistance and solving from here we get 1 milliampere id1 remains as it is this solving we get 2 milliampere and therefore from here id1 is 1 milliampere minus 2 milliampere is equal to minus 1 milliampere now we are talking of this current but it is violating the condition because we have mentioned that for forward bias or for short circuit id has to be positive in this case id is negative and therefore this contradicts and so we move to the next assumption okay so what was the next assumption we had found this one now let's try this one zero okay so d1 is on that means uh, D1 is short and D2 is off. This one will open. So it's short and this is open. And we'll now again calculate. First of all, this is connected to zero, so it will be zero volt. Since no current is flowing in the right branch, now you can see there's a battery resistance, but there is a no return path. That means current here is zero in this circuit, but the voltage, this voltage will appear at the uh, VB terminal. So VB will be minus 10 volt. Okay, so we know minus 10 volt here, zero volt here. So how much is VD2? So VD2 is VA minus VB. So zero minus zero, uh, minus 10 is equal to plus 10 volt. And that means it is violating because for reverse bias, this one we have assumed reverse bias, the voltage has to be less than zero, whereas in our case it is more than zero or positive. So this also con contradicts. So move to the next assumption. Now we have contradicted these two. We already did this. So if you are starting from here, you will just do this one as we did and you will get this to be the correct answer so i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments thank you